The mechanics of the shoulder during a volleyball spike involve two types of rotations, internal and external. Internal rotation occurs when the forearm moves downward, while external rotation is when the forearm is pulled back and directed upwards. During a spike, the arm transitions from internal to external rotation and back in a very short period. This movement is crucial for a spike as it stretches the muscles, particularly those responsible for rotating the shoulder and body. Several muscles are responsible for this rotation, including the pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi and subscapularis. Stretching these muscles, known as counter-movement, involves moving two parts of the torso in opposite directions. For example, the body moves in one direction and the arm moves in another, allowing the muscles to stretch through an eccentric movement, also known as negative movement. This process can be likened to the mechanism of a slingshot, where maximum power is achieved by pulling the elastic band as far back as possible. Similarly, for a powerful volleyball spike, the forearm must be accelerated like the projectile of a slingshot to achieve the most destructive effect. The more effectively you accelerate, the stronger your spike will be. To maximize spike speed, preparation involves ensuring all parts of the mechanism are relaxed. Tense muscles cannot stretch well, limiting the strength and speed of the spike. Paradoxically, achieving the hardest spike requires being as relaxed as possible. The shoulder movement for a spike involves the spiking arm starting in front of you and parallel to the floor, followed by turning the body and stretching the pectoral muscle, raising the forearm and completing the attack by straightening the shoulder and engaging the wrist. A common mistake among amateurs is attempting to increase spike strength by tensing their muscles and pushing with their shoulder. This approach not only reduces the movement's width, which needs to be increased, but also heightens the risk of shoulder injury. Discomfort in the shoulder during a spike often indicates incorrect technique. Correct technique for attack preparation and execution. Preparation. Position the attacking arm in front of you, pull the body back, stretch the pectoral muscle and raise the forearm, keeping everything as relaxed as possible. Spike. Quickly move the body forward, advance the elbow and complete the spike with the wrist action. Throughout the attack, it's essential to keep both the body and arm relaxed to avoid injury and maximize the effectiveness of the spike.